got to love the all-star festivities. Always a great show. We'll be back to get this thing started after this. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you the MLB All-Star Game. It's the National League All-Stars taking on the American League All-Stars. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Singy, always special when we get together to call the All-Star Game. Well, we've done a lot of these together, and sometimes you come in and think, ho-hum, another year. But once you look and you see these all-star players, their uniforms on, them interacting with one another, you realize just how special it is. It's going to be a great one tonight. First pitch coming at you right after the break. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's some real power at the plate. Gerald Raymond. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Ground ball up the middle. Escalona collects it, and he'll just eat it. That's an infield single. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Here's Chavis now. Next one is off the plate, and it's 2-1. and one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Ball outside. Safe at second, and that was not close. You don't usually see teams try to claw back into games by being aggressive on the base pass like this, but it's still early in this one. This kind of tells me they're going to try to tackle this one one run at a time instead of waiting back for a big three-run homer. And a 3-1 on the way. He swings and fouls one off. No outs. Runner on second. Let's go, kid. One time right here. And that's ball four. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity. So not a terrible result. Now it's the DH, Alberto Gomez. Next offering is fouled back. Raymond, the lead runner at second. Chavis at first with no outs. And it's even up. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Here you go. Let it fly. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Come on, baby, get your pitch up there. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. And fouled off. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Now, Trent Reyes. Next offering is in for a strike. Base is juiced, no outs. Next pitch just misses, and it's two and two. Hey, one time, right now, here we go. See it, 
it right here. Come on, big. Come on, guy. Get your pitch up there. Left field. Thomas pulls that one down. And there's one away. Batting it from the Cleveland Guardians. No left fielder. John Young. So digging in, John Young. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Hard hit left side and that's just foul. Hey, let rip one time. And the righty deals. Come back to the mound. Fires home for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Gerald Raymond. Switch hitter batting from the right hey, side here. It's so anyway. impressive yeah, here over the course of his career how he's been able to become a force on both sides of the plate. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Nicholas racing over to make the catch. On to inning number four. National Leaguer is out in front. Six. Two. One down, one down. So up next, Daniel Sato. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Hammer, base hit. Pollard around third. He'll score. It's seven to two. Gerald Raymond now at the plate. Now the third baseman. Now a blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. A towering home run, and they close the gap. It's 7-5. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. So two down, and now Gerald Raymond. Good contact guy, good Third defender. Gerald. Come on now. Raymond. Wait for your pitch. That one is absolutely yeah, belted. That's got a chance. Bang! <laughs> He'll circle the bases. His second home run of the game. It's 10-9. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Charlie Douglas getting ready to hit. Trying to move the runners over. And he barehands it. In plenty of time to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. The batter number four. Shortstop, Eric Valdez. American League making a move for a pinch hitter. Garrett Glenn looking to start something with one gone. Garrett Glenn. 
just an absolute slugfest. Not a good day to be a pitcher. There are going to be a lot of sore necks. Guys turning left, turning right, balls flying all over. Neither staff had anything working, and these offenses just kept exchanging blows. 13-10 is how it ends here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Schultz.